Thank you to Boxu for sponsoring this video. More on them later. Hello friends, I hope you're doing well. Did I just have a voice crack? Oh goodness. I'm trying to go for an all pink look today so I can match the cherry blossoms. That's right folks, you heard me right. We are going to see some cherry blossoms today. And you might be wondering, Leilani, you don't live in Tokyo anymore. What are you talking about? Ho, ho, ho. You are mistaken. Actually, no, you're correct. I do not live in Tokyo anymore. So here in San Diego, we have Balboa Park and they have a beautiful Japanese friendship garden. And supposedly they have a lot of cherry blossom trees there. Sorry, I hope you can hear me okay. My neighbor is like blasting Big Sean right now. So I am so, so excited because they're having the Cherry Blossom Festival this weekend. Today is the last day. I'm just gonna finish getting ready and we'll head out to the Japanese Friendship Garden. So the makeup is finished, but the next debacle is I need to figure out what kind of outfit I want to wear today. So honestly, I really like the pajamas I'm wearing right now. Like they're pink. They've got cherries, cherry blossoms. Sometimes my genius is, it's almost frightening. But look, just because I moved back to America does not mean I'm going to summon myself to that level where I will go out in public in pajamas. That ain't me. So let's pick out why am I being so sassy and all over the place. I just finished my coffee. <sighs> I am stressed. Okay, so I didn't really have many pink items to work with, so of course I ended up somehow doing a lilac look again, which I feel like is the next best thing to match with Sakura, right? So here is the look. All right, we really need to go now, so let's boogie. Let's get some Sakura. Finally got parking. We are in Balboa Park. Are you excited, mother? Yes. <laughs> yes, so very excited. And the Japanese garden is like right in the center, so we will see you guys there. Okay, y'all, change of plans. That line literally must have taken like four hours. It went all the way around into the parking lot. We just ate at the tea pavilion and Mama Kayo is not impressed. 
<laughs> as usual as usual <laughs> but regardless the view is nice the weather is nice so we're just like taking pictures of the cherry blossoms from up here <laughs> Hey friends, it's me again. So because last time was such a fail because of how crowded that Japanese cherry blossom festival was, I'm going to attempt to go back again because I'm very adamant about seeing some cherry blossoms. So every Tuesday at Balboa Park, some of their exhibits are free. So today is one of the free days for the Japanese tea garden. So I'm gonna take advantage. I hope it's not too crowded. We'll see. Okay, zooming past where the line was last time. And I'm about to find my sister because she's meeting me here. Oh my god, sister, you sing what I'm singing, sister. <laughs> Wisteria! I haven't seen this since Japan. Look at those chunkies! Look at him go! Okay, we just talked to the sweetest Japanese ladies. I'm not okay. And my friend VK showed up. Hey, VK. Didn't that cat kind of look like Conan? Hey, sorry. That could have been a mistake. There was like fur flying all over the place now. <laughs> that truly felt like an authentic Japanese experience because there's a lot of stray cats in the parks in Japan. <laughs> like when I was working in Japan, all the way to my office, there was a park and there were always these two stray cats around. So I kind of keep an eye out for them every day. So that just reminded me of Japan even more. <laughs> but anywho, I know that not everyone has cherry blossoms in their area and you can't really replicate like a true Hanami experience, the cherry blossom viewing parties. But that is why I'm so excited to introduce 
introduce the sponsor for today's video, Boksu. So Boksu is a monthly subscription service that delivers premium Japanese snacks and tea pairings directly from Japan. So a lot of the treats and sweets that you guys get in these boxes are from small Japanese owned businesses that are centuries old. And this is very near and dear to my heart because actually my mom's side of the family from Japan, they have a traditional Japanese sweet shop. So when I grew up going there, this is a way that I was really able to connect with my family and my culture at the same time. So here is the box that they sent me and the packaging is this limited edition Sakura box. And every single month has a different theme, but this is the most anticipated theme out of the year. So let's go ahead and open up the box here. Oh, wow, so right on top, it looks like we have our cultural guide. This is beautiful. So all the snacks that are included in this box, it has like a little guide that shows you where all the treats are from in Japan. And here we have all the descriptions for the snacks. Oh my gosh, so as you can see, this is filled to the brim with Sakura themed sweets and traditional candies. This is so impressive. I'm seeing such a wide variety. I'm seeing senbei crackers, mochis, teas, biscuits, cookies. And I just love the concept of this because obviously right now with the state of the world, we're not able to travel as easily. So this box is such a fun way to experience the Sakura season in the comfort of your own home. So if you also want to have your own Sakura celebration and support this channel, you could go ahead and use this link down in the description box and use this code and you could get $15 off of your order. I think I'm actually just gonna set up a cute little Sakura picnic in my home right now. <laughs> So I just made like a little assortment here on my little sakura plate because I want to try out a couple of them So first and foremost, I think I want to try this mochi. It feels so soft. So let's give it a go Hit it out of the park on the first try. That is so delicate. That's so nice Now I want to try this sakura petal cookies. That is so adorable Mm. I'm also looking at the little snack guide. This says that it's made with azuki bean flour. It also gives you information on allergens in case you're worried about that, but that was nice. <laughs> Next is sembe. Mm. If you don't know, I'm kind of a sembe fanatic. It's just rice crackers and they managed to stuff a lot of sembe in here. So I am just thrilled. <laughs> and now I want to try the puree peach gummy and it's in the shape of a heart. Precious. Mmm, that one's a little sour. Wow, but the peach flavor is really coming through. Everything was so good. Honestly, I think I'm just gonna keep eating more. I'm really hungry. Anyway, thank you so much for sticking till the end of this video. Have a lovely spring day or whenever you're watching this and hopefully see you next time. Bye-bye.